how like when you guys are training how many calories are you trying to get in like we have a women's cycling community here oh, in cool. switzerland and yeah. we're trying to kind of change the narrative about carbs um sure, yeah. and, and making sure these women are getting enough fuel yeah, yeah. um how much are you guys taking in on training rides what kind of things do you like to eat yeah i think um can i can talk to that pretty well because unfortunately i came through the ranks when carbs were the evil and i was like eating like a crossfitter and um it was awful you know i'd finish my rides totally depleted couldn't get off the couch and then you'd really struggle to back up the next day and now it's just amazing now the research really shows that the more you feel the not only the better the session you have that in on that day but how well you back up the days after and so yeah now it's like like it's a race to who can eat the most carbs and um, I think that's just amazing for um, both the athletes and the longevity of particularly female cyclists and research is really showing that females need even more carbs than, than um, some of the men on, on similar weights just because of our menstrual cycle and um, our hormonal uh, hormones so yeah I think it's just really positive now what the research is showing we're doing a hundred plus carbs per hour easily Graham so yeah and um and then in training, you know, yeah, it, it can be like a minimum of 80 really almost now, which is just, un it was unheard of when I was starting. So yeah, these guys that are coming up through the ranks, the younger generation, I think that's why we're, like, they really are saying one of the main reasons why the peloton is as quick as it is and has never, ever been faster. Yes, there's aerodynamics, but much of that has come down to fueling and nutrition that people are going as fast as they are in the last hour as they are in the first hour because of how well they're fueling. So yeah it's there's no, it's definitely not the devil it's like the secret weapon now carbs so yeah i love that any any tips on what kind of i mean getting that amount of grams of carbs in is, is quite tricky what what do you like to take with you uh, it's just all gels in racing. Yeah, it's got to be as simple as possible. Um, I find that if you eat during the race, it does uh, too much blood's drawn to the stomach and it's drawn out of your legs. So yeah, it's just as simple as possible. But then, yeah, when you're training, you can you know have it have, make some home treats or bars or uh, we have Scratch Nutrition as a partner, so they're really good. And, but yeah, we've been making rice cakes and rice bars and yeah, and and just enjoy the treats on the ride as well. And it sort of makes you feel like oh you know you get to three hours something to look forward to or stop at the cafe for a treat sort of thing so yeah it just makes riding more enjoyable I think um, back gone to the days where you try and go as long as possible without eating it's uh, and then just be useless for the rest of the day it's a much more positive uh, environment I think with training and carbs. And you mentioned the menstrual cycle. I mean, this used to be a bit taboo um, and now it's slowly coming into the media and into the discussions. Do you guys have any tips or advice also for like the general population or, or how do you train with your menstrual cycle? Yeah, it's really hard, particularly for this race. <laughs> it's not been a good uh, good timing for me, but um, yeah, I think it's more just, uh, it's good to um, track it. Yeah, there's a lot of apps now where you can track. I think what's also been shown is, um, yeah, as again, back in my day when I was starting, you know, you'd almost try not to get your period because you'd be training so hard and that was seen as a positive and now it's really a negative. Um, you want to be getting your period because um, it shows that you're healthy and you're strong and your hormonal system is really positive so um, I think tracking it's really good and now it's just so good because there's so much research out there and previously there'd been no medical research really included when women weren't included in studies so there's so much out there that you can read um, Dr Stacey Stims is an amazing advocate and yeah just listen or read anything she's ever produced and I think that'll help you and just make sure you're working with a coach that understands that and that's what you really need to do and know that if you feel a bit shit it's put might be hormonal and in a week's time you'll be on top of the world so yeah.